Welcome back terrestrials to the quarantine movie reviews. In this episode, I'm going to be doing Queen and Slim. This movie was released in 2019 and I've been dying to see it since I saw the previews. I kind of forgot about it a little bit and I saw it on Apple and I went ahead and rented it and I'm so glad I did. I was really let down by We Summon the Darkness and this totally made up for it. This movie is a drama thriller. Um, I don't really know how to feel about that categorization, but the synopsis is, Queen and Slim's first date take an unexpected turn when a policeman pulls them over for a minor traffic violation. When the situation escalates, Slim takes the officer's gun and shoots him in self-defense. Now labeled cop killers in the media, Queen and Slim feel they have no choice but to go on the run and evade the law. When a video of the incident goes viral, the unwitting outlaws soon become a symbol of trauma, terror, grief, and pain for people all across the country. Now, I knew the basic plot to this i saw the trailer for it i didn't remember going into it that it was their first date i thought that they were already together for some reason um <clears throat> this movie is great uh this movie has wonderful camera work um a lot of the music is good i'm not really into new hip-hop but the old music that they play is really good. Um, there's a lot of things in this movie that just, they break your heart to see. Um, the main characters are just trying to go on about their life and they get stopped by some cop. And the cop's an asshole and he got what he deserved. Sorry if you don't like that, but once they get out on the run, the camera work, there's a scene where they're driving and they're discussing the music that's playing because Slim has his music turned up and his head is against the driver's window as he's driving and Queen's head is against the passenger side as she's driving and it cuts back and forth on those two angles and it's real dark and all you see is their face and you just see this concern and worry and they do a really good job of projecting all the thoughts that may be going through your head at a time like that in a situation like that even as crazy as you could imagine that situation being you can kind of still just look at them and tell what's going through their head. Um, throughout the movie, there's a lot of good scenes. Um, Queen's uncle helps them, and he's played by Joachim Woodbine. And I just love this guy. I'd love to see him in more movies. And I've said that before when I reviewed Spencer Confidential. And he's in this movie and he plays a good bad guy. A good guy, bad guy. Um, he's helping them, even if it is a little begrudgingly. Uh, but he's also not a good guy. But he's still helping them, so he's kind of a good guy. I don't know. the. I mean, that's open to interpretation, I guess. Um but they get out on the run after stopping at her uncle's house. He gives them some money and a car and everything else. And they stop at this little on the side of the road dance club. Um, like a backwoods blues dance club. And they go inside and they dance for a minute. And, you know, they're still worried about being caught and people knowing that it's them. And so on and so forth. And... <clears throat> Slim goes up to the bar and he orders a bourbon and the bartender pours two bourbons and he's like, oh no, I don't drink. And she was like, maybe you should start. Hey, handsome. Uh, what can I get you? A bourbon. Oh, I don't drink. 
baby, you should stop. Oh, these are on the house. Thank you. Don't worry, you're safe here. That made me so happy. That made me just, I don't know. It brought a tear to my eye that like, even in a situation like the one that they're in, that there's people that believe in them, that there's people that understand and that are willing to turn a blind eye or help um, in some fashion. Even if it's just not saying anything, it's still helping. And I know a lot of people are not going to like that opinion, but in this particular case, in this movie, I think that, I think that it was a wonderful thing. Um, it happens a few more times. You really, towards the middle to the beginning of the end of the movie, you start to see things are kind of going their way. They're getting through, they're getting to what they're, end goal is which is to go to cuba now i guess cuba's as good as place as any but they stop at a guy's house that queen's uncle knows and he helps them he hides them while the cops raid the house because the neighbor called and uh at that point there's a two hundred fifty thousand dollar bounty on both of their heads and they get down there, they hide, they get away because a black cop opens the garage while they're trying to start the car and he just moves out of the way and he lets them go and good on him. Good job. Um, I think that in that particular case, if I was an officer or anybody else that ran across these people and I saw the video, and I saw what actually happened, yeah, I'd get the fuck out of their way too. I don't know that I would be ballsy enough to help them, but I would definitely get out of their way. I would let them go. Um, of course, the ending of the movie is not, is not great uh, as far as it's not a happy ending. The ending of the movie is great. The whole movie is great. But it's just not a happy ending. Um, they both inevitably are gunned down. And basically in cold blood. Um, they had no reason to kill him. They weren't going anywhere. They weren't doing anything. Especially Slim. Because all he's doing is holding Queen's body. And he's just walking towards the cops. He's no threat carrying a dead body. Absolutely none. So, you know, and of course, after, you know, they're dead, you see that somebody had turned them in or given or snitched on them, essentially. He gave us something to believe in. Uh, but you see a news report and it says they were armed and dangerous and that's why they were killed. Well, we know that's not true. And this movie just really, it's upsetting because this is, this is real life. Um, obviously this movie may not be based on any true events, but this does happen. This is real life. I think that this movie was a beautiful movie. I think that this movie was a really well written movie. The camera with the camera work, the director did a wonderful job. Um, I, I don't have anything bad to say about this movie. I'm trying to think that I think everything, there's one part in the movie where Queen and Slim finally hook up and they're in the car in the middle of nowhere. But they had just left this uh, auto body shop getting their car repaired. 
and they were talking to the young kid of the guy who's fixing their car. Are you following me? And he's just amazed. He's starstruck by these people. And that's great and all, but it, it led him to a misguided killing of an officer. He went to a protest and this cop is just like, go home, kid. I don't want to arrest you. Nobody's trying to hurt you. Just go home. It's my job to clear the streets. Go home. And he pulls out a gun and shoots the cop because he admired Queen and Slim so much that he thought in his adolescent head that he was going to be on the same level as them. And I don't I don't know really what happened to the kid. They didn't really show it or maybe I missed it or something. They kept cutting back between this sex scene and this little kid showing up to the protest, in the protest, the cop talking to him, him shooting the cop. It kept cutting back and forth. Um, maybe I missed it. I'm not really sure. But it it that was the only thing that I saw that was kind of like... Them, go! I got a new Black Panther. What you Because that happens. These these kids, they look up to these heroes. And whether they're actual heroes or not, they look up to them and they idolize them and they want to be them. And they this kid went out and took an officer's life for no reason. Um, Slim had a reason. He was going to more than likely die if he didn't do what he did. So, you know, that that kind of sucked. But it's also a reality, so it needed to be shown too. So I can't even really get mad at it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, guys. I would say definitely watch this movie. Definitely watch it. It's a little over two hours. I think it's two hours and ten minutes. It is well worth renting, buying, whatever you choose to do. Um, you can find it on Apple. I'm sure you can find it wherever you rent your movies. Um, but yeah, watch this one. It is so good. Uh, I give it nine and a half bags of popcorn. That's the highest I've given any movie since I've started doing this and implemented the bag of popcorn rating scale. But Queen and Slim, nine and a half bags. It's that good. So I would definitely say check it out. And if you've seen it, let me know what you thought. If you had any hangups on it. Um, and once you see it, come back and let me know. Because I'm very interested to know what other people thought about this movie. I thought it was just amazing. So that's my opinion. I say watch it. Anyways... Stay safe out there, guys.